The Nutri node by Shebang modules is a node-based sequencer that produces triggers and control voltage based on the proximity of these receiver nodes to the emitter nodes. Every time one of these little dots hits a receiver node, a trigger and control voltage is sent to the output. This sequencer is super cool and here's what this bad boy can sound like. The emitter nodes are all on by default, but you can adjust the total number by turning them off here. You can have a maximum of four. You can add receiver nodes by clicking in any blank space of the screen up to a maximum of 16, which happens to be my favorite number. You can move any node by dragging it, and you can remove a receiver node by dragging it off screen. You can also clear all of them by clicking this button here. As an emitter node comes into proximity with a receiver node, it will associate with a straight line which is the same color as the emitter. Closer receivers will trigger first because there is less distance for the signal to travel along the line. As the emitter travels away from the receiver, it will disassociate. Emitters can move by toggling the move button. The speed knob dictates how quickly the emitters move around the space, and in the context menu, you can choose to have collisions between emitters. The play button begins the sequence by launching signals to the receivers in proximity. You can have the play button be enabled continuously, meaning it's an on-off toggle, or as a one-shot, which immediately shuts off after one set of signals is sent by either clicking the play button or triggering it with this port here. The tempo knob determines how quickly signals are sent to receivers. All the way left is very slow and infrequent. and all the way right is fast and frequent. These ports produce triggers and volt per octave for each of the four emitters based on their color. The all output sends triggers and volt per octave for each of them simultaneously. You can utilize the individual outputs to trigger unique voices or to sync events with particular voices. There are two pitch modes that can be selected by toggling this switch here. Position refers to the receiver node's Y position within the screen. Receiver nodes, which are the white ones, located more north will produce higher pitches than nodes positioned more south. If the switch is toggled to size, the pitch will be determined by the size of the node which is randomly generated when you create a receiver node. Smaller nodes produce higher pitches, and larger nodes produce lower pitches. The volt per octave is quantized to scales or chords by these knobs here. This knob sets the root note, which can be any of the 12 semitones common to Western music. The scale knob contains many scale and chord qualities, as well as the ability to send raw voltage values. We can also control the octave of each individual node with these color-coded octave knobs. Each knob has a negative 5 to 5 octave span. Here are several examples. Lastly, the polyphony of the sequencer can be set in the context menu. I usually run it at 16. If you reach peak polyphony, it will begin to cut previous notes based on the first in first out rule. You can fix this by using fewer nodes or by adjusting the envelope of your voices. That's it for this lightning fast run through of the Nutrinode by Shebang Modules. It's free and you can find it by searching Nutrinode in the VCV Rack library page or by subscribing to Shebang Modules on the plugins page. If you like this kind of stuff, you can let me know that by liking and subscribing or don't. That's cool too. All of the content I make, like my VCV Rack cheat sheet and my Bit Crushed Drum sample pack, are all free for everyone and you can find them on my Ko-fi page.
co-fi.com slash your Paul Rob. I hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.